Bring me all of your dreams, you dreamers. Bring me all of your heart melodies that I may wrap them in a blue cloud cloth away from the two rough fingers of the world. Monday, the 7th of September, aka my birthday. Wahoo! Mm, that was awkward, but um, I'm just really super grateful for life. I'm grateful to see another year. I mean, it's an understatement to say that this year has been um, a challenge, you know, um, for everyone and everyone has been dealing with it in their different ways. So, honestly, I'm just, yeah, grateful to God, honestly, um, seeing me through and just helping me grow in different ways it's so amazing how much can change in a year like where like, i am with like my headspace and how i feel about myself and just everything like 25 and 26 are completely different but yeah i'm really grateful to god for life and um yeah um i still have to go to placement i know how dare they on my birthday but <laughs> it's about half six right now as so I'm still like running around, whizzing around to get stuff ready. I thought I would go in like a bit dressed up today. I mean, it doesn't really matter because yeah, I'm going to change into my uniform, but you know, I could still look cute on the way there. So yeah, I'm just wearing this dress that I got from Primark like two years ago, basically. Yeah, so let me carry on running around and rushing because yeah i have to go in like half an hour see you guys later So my family have made a really nice dinner for me and my brother baked a cake as well. So I'm just gonna like shower and freshen up and then go downstairs. I am absolutely starving because I didn't really eat much for lunch today because I knew that I was gonna come home and eat uh, obviously loads more. So yeah, I made food. So that I just wanna go shower and then my mom wants us to dress up a little bit. I feel like she's gonna be more dressed up than I am because I just wanna be free and eat and stuff. But yeah, I'm just gonna shower now and then, yeah, go and eat. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Ooh. 
going to placement today because I have a study day today so we're meant to have um, a half day every Friday throughout the placement um, but my supervisor just suggested it might be better to take like a full day every other week yeah and I think that works out better because it's like on the half day if I'm already there I might as well just stay the rest of the day so yeah that's what I will be doing um so I'm just gonna run some errands, um, help my brother with some stuff. I think he wants to do some shooting and stuff. So yeah, let's start the day, I guess. <laughs> Masks on for safety. <laughs> 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 So I didn't really vlog much um, after I came back yesterday because I started feeling like a bit under the weather. Like I'd had a sore throat in the morning, but by the time I came back, I just felt really drained. 
and yeah just like really weak and stuff so i just didn't i didn't really vlog or i didn't really feel like vlogging too much um but yeah it's saturday now and i feel a bit better like i still have like a bit of a scratchy throat but i might just take some more lemsip and some honey this morning before my brother and i go out so we're going uh thrift shopping so it's basically like a birthday treat for my brother so he's gonna pay for me um and we're going to the east end thrift store which is in stepney green and um they're doing a filler bag sale today so basically um you just you buy a bag either a 10 pound bag or a 20 pound bag and then you just fill the bag with as many things as you can get so i'm really excited to go to that especially because as we're getting to like autumn winter time Although um, we have that like weird heat wave coming next week, but <laughs> you know, in British weather, it's gonna probably drop after that. So yeah, I'm just thinking about getting some cardigans and um, like jumpers and stuff. I found like two when I went thrifting at St. Francis yesterday. I'll do a thrift tour after I've washed everything basically. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, I'm just thinking of getting some, some um, like jumpers and cardigans and stuff because the ones that I have, they've kind of like faded and they've got like bubbles on them so i just want to like update my winter wardrobe um yeah so i say that now but then i get there and i'll like buy like five million blouses i really i do that a lot i don't know why but um yeah i you know i will see what we find um so yeah i'm just um i think i'm just gonna put some concealer underneath my eyes this is the glossier stretch concealer in the shade g2 yeah um i just feel like it wakes my eyes up a little bit and makes me look less dead so yeah but i'm not gonna bother with like uh, mascara today because yesterday my eyes just started watering for no reason and then just kind of like ruined my hard work so yeah just a bit of concealer to look a bit more alive <laughs> i guess This morning I like just felt really discouraged like I didn't want to pray and um, yeah I don't know what it was I just and I just had like a little like tiff like argument it was not really argument but like just I kind of like been annoying and annoying my mom a little bit especially as she's not even, she's not feeling well and that made me feel even worse because I was just kind of like damn that wasn't very loving of me that wasn't very Christ-like of me and then like throughout the week even though i did pray but i just felt like dry so this morning like i was really struggling like praying i just wanted to do something really quick and like, like get out because normally i do like reading the bible and then praying the rosary but i was just like oh that feels like so much effort what's the point i'm gonna be all distracted and like just finding all these different reasons not to pray and just like being really hard on myself um but i decided to just do it anyway so like when i was reading the bible you know and like just really talking to god and just think saying like you know what i don't know why i feel like this i just feel really disappointed in myself it just feels like i try and i try but i still fail with like being loving and like putting, putting him first and all of those kind of things and i just felt like giving up but i just some like something you just said just to carry on praying and um I, I use this prayer app called the um, Laudate app. It's a really good Catholic app. It has like prayers and novenas and like so many things basically. And um, like the ver daily verse was basically just saying like why it's good to pray the rosary. And then it showed like the 15 promises of the rosary. And I was just like, okay, like this is definitely just like an encouragement for me to pray it. So I did pray it. And like, even though I kept getting distracted, I just pulled my mind back to the prayer and back to god and I, just, I basically did all the prayers that i normally do and by the end of it like one thing was very clear like one message from it was very clear like don't be so hard on yourself it's not easy and god knows that and you just have to keep trying like the devil wants to make you feel bad he wants to discourage you so you're just like oh what's the point i failed anyway i'm a sinner anyway like god knows that we're sinners but there's so much grace for everyone and i just wanted to share this message with anyone for anyone who who sometimes feels like me like really hard on themselves like well what's the point of even trying to be a good christian or trying to be a good person because i just seem to fail all the time but you know 
there's this famous saying that says like um oh gosh what, what is it something about all saints are sinners who got back up or like all saints are sinners who kept trying so basically like if you even if, if you read like some of the um autobiographies of like saints and stuff especially like saint augustine of hippo like you realize that yeah they are saints but they were also normal people who struggled you know even think about paul in the bible like he was a persecutor of christians before he got changed so like don't be so hard on yourself like god sees our hearts and god sees that we're trying um and god sees that we are weak but like by his strength by his grace you know we will make it so just like little by little just you know you're not going to become you're not going to turn into the world's perfect person overnight you might not you might never even be perfect until the day that you die but i think god appreciates our efforts and god appreciates that we're trying and then he will you know carry us the rest of the way so i just wanted to share that with you guys and just to remind you guys that god loves everyone so so much and even if you feel like on earth like people around you aren't showing that love just remember that someone does care about you and you are important and yeah so just remember that bring me all of your dreams you dreamers bring me all of your heart melodies that i may wrap them in a blue cloud cloth away from the two rough fingers of the world successful thrift i'm really happy with the stuff that i got um and just as i mentioned earlier before i will wash all the clothes um and then like try them on i'll do like a thrift haul so yeah stay tuned for that video um i had to take a shower after that because one it was hot and we were outside and then two like like digging through all those clothes you know really dusty and stuff so yeah i need to cleanse myself <laughs> Um, but now I'm just going to get some food. My brother made fried rice. So, yeah, I'm excited to eat that. <sighs> yeah, guys, just get used to these a lot in the channel. I just feel awkward. I, I don't know how to conclude. I should just stop talking by now. But, yeah. Okay.